have some nocturnal prosimians, which are primates. Um, we have potos and pygmy lorises. Uh, we have um, some uh, nocturnal bats, and we have a number of nocturnal cat species, as well as uh, some animals like tamandua and porcupine and things like that that are most active at night. For most of our nocturnal animals, we basically try to reverse the light cycle on them. So their, their days are reversed. It's dark during our day and then light during our nights to keep them awake when we're awake and asleep when we're asleep. One thing that uh, nocturnal animals have are very large eyes. Most of the nocturnal animals also have what's called a tapetum lucidum, which is a reflective layer in the eye, which basically reflects light back and forth, so it kind of recycles and maximizes the, the amount of light that's available. The lorises, um, in particular, their eyes are actually so large that they actually can't rotate their eyes in their sockets. They actually have to turn their head to face whatever it is they're looking at, so moving their head up and down and side to side to be able to focus. Um, they have a much more developed sense of smell than most other primates. They scent mark. They're, they're very olfactory. Um, and they also have ears much like a cat that they can turn directionally to detect sounds. Um, the other thing that most nocturnal animals have is some other heightened sense. Um, some animals have a really heightened sense of smell. Some of the animals have a heightened sense of hearing. Th those are you know, the main sensory differences and then um, physical adaptations to how you move kind of depends on whether you're a predator or, 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 or potentially a prey item. So these little prosimians that we have tend to move very slowly basically trying to um, show as little movement as possible, be as quiet as possible. Some of the other predatory species like cats tend to be very sleek, very fast, very powerful. Um, so it just kind of depends on the, the niche you fill in the environment. Currently in the rainforest, we house uh, Egyptian fruit bats and our straw-colored fruit bats. Our straw-colored bats are a little bit more active during the night. They do uh, feed primarily at night. However, they are active also during the day, so they're not true nocturnal animals. Our Egyptian fruit bats tend to be found in caves where they're a little bit more active during the uh, evening hours and uh, dawn hours. Bats you can find in Ohio typically will use a uh, sonar. Uh, echolocation to pinpoint uh, their food, which would be insects. The bats we have do not use sonar. They're, they're strictly visual and they rely on spell to find their fruit. They don't need that good of sight compared to like your cats and that. However, they have excellent eyesight. Uh, they're not blind as bats, you know, like most people tend to believe. We do have a few bat pups. This one right here is staring at me. You can see they you generally have one well they have one bad pup and they hang upside down and cling to the mother. There's one with a bad pup right there. The stereotypic experience people think that bats are really truly, you know, frightening looking, but if you look at their faces, they're actually kinda cute looking. 